Yo, what up? Your boy Brick Street Sprite, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. Dog, I watched Piper Boy's blog earlier. And he makes complete sense, bro. He's talking about how not only are they not necessarily trying to book this quantum physics Tay Rock battle, this is just one of the few battles that, like, bro, why are these dudes not in tune enough with the culture? I'm talking about the dudes that book these battles to know which battles have storylines and need to be booked. They stay booking random ass battles that no one gives a fuck about that have no history no storyline behind it no nothing to where they have to make up a storyline and wwe some shit and they stay looking the other way and look and and, and not booking the battles that have a natural organic storyline like bruh this battle makes so much sense why do they not book quantum physics tay rock on like the next volume joint Get Quantum on caffeine, dog. Because you can't do Quantum and Tay Rock on like a big stage, man. Because, my bad, y'all. Got buses going by. But Quantum is not like a very good big stage battler. Tay Rock would annihilate him on a big stage. Because Tay Rock is so good at what he does. He's a better all-around battle rapper. Like a... But... The one thing that quantum physics is way better than rocking is the pen game. His pen is crazy. He's To me, he's the god pen. He's the goat pen. He's the best pen in the game. You know what I'm saying? And, But at this point in quantum's career, dog, like he's not motivated necessarily for like a Dre Dennis battle. Like I know he's got a few battles on the app, but those are lackluster performances by him because to me, when I watch quantum physics, he doesn't. He doesn't put his all into it if he's not motivated for the battle. You know what I'm saying? But he would be motivated for a Tay Rock battle. He knows how much that means to him and his legacy and just to the culture in general. Battling Tay Rock. That means, bruh, everybody always wants to come out when Tay Rock comes out. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, you can't slouch against Tay Rock. And beating somebody like Tay Rock would be the a phenomenal look on his legacy. You know what I'm saying? Like... To me, he's the GOAT pen either way. But in like a volume setting, he would have an opportunity and at least a puncher's chance of beating. Not even more than a puncher's chance. If motherfuckers can actually sit back and listen to the bars, he might beat Tay Rock. Now, I'm not saying he would. I would still probably give advantage Tay Rock just because he's a better all around battler. The Quantum to me is the GOAT pen. And, bruh, in certain situations and scenarios, like, go back and watch him against what's-his-face, Speed Allah. You know what I'm saying? When he said the, the, uh, <laughs> I'll put your stomach on a wall. I'll have you absent without leaving. Like, bruh, that whole battle was lines like that. Like, you, you literally almost have to slow his shit down and listen to it multiple times because every bar has meaning. And it's like a double. You know what I'm saying? Every bar is a double entendre. You know what I'm saying? Double and triple and quadruple entendres. Like, bro, that would just... But my point of this blog is I'm not even trying to match them up. You know what I mean? And analyze who would win or necessarily. I know I'll get, I'm kind of getting off track talking about that. Who would win and whose skill level. Like, what, who, what, which one is greater at this. Tay Rock is greater at every other element of battle rap other than the pen. But when it comes, that doesn't mean he would win the battle necessarily. Because I've seen greater battlers lose. You know what I'm saying? Because some of Quantum Physics' other attributes are a little overlooked. When he, he's not bad with performance necessarily. Like when he's motivated to battle. You know what I'm saying? The one thing Rock has a clear advantage in is performance, though, and, like, the trajectory, you know what I'm saying, and the delivery, you know what I mean? Rock is phenomenal at doing that, and crowd control, but that doesn't apply as much in a volume setting. QP could kind of sit back and, just, and just, just, just basically snap, you know what I mean, and, and, and go through his bars and go through his fucking rounds, you know what I'm saying, run through his shit without having to stop too much for crowd control. You know what I mean? 
So I think it would be a better, it would be a good matchup, man. It would def definitely be, definitely be an entertaining battle. And there's already a backstory, and you know that they would be talking shit to lead up. They're both for their like so-called women apprentices. You know what I'm saying? Have battled already. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, Rock has coached and showed caution, giving her the tricks of the trade, and vice versa for QP and Yoshi. Obviously watching Yoshi. Now I'm not saying Yoshi has the same style as QP, but you can tell by how layered and how much and how she how much depth that she writes her rounds with and how layered her rounds are that QP gave her some of his formula. And she listened and applies that to her rounds now. She don't rap the same, she don't deliver it the same, but the amount of layers that she writes with and the way that she punches and like how everything is the double, you know what I mean? Is, that's quantum physics right there. I'm not saying he wrote it, what I'm saying is he taught her the recipe for that and now she's the one cooking it up. You know what I'm saying? But why are we overlooking, Piper Boy is 100% right about this shit. I don't always agree with Piper Boy, you know what I'm saying? I do support his channel, I fuck with Piper Boy, but I don't necessarily agree, or I mean, with him all the time, but 100% with this. He's 100% right about this. Why are they booking battles that are random as hell, that no one gives a fuck about and have no backstory to where they have to literally make up a backstory, but they're not booking the battles that have literally, that have an organic backstory. And there's actually some fucking, uh, some fucking uh a grudge there you know what i'm saying like it's an actual little it's a grudge match like these dudes like really i don't think they have necessarily they don't have beef but they have a battle rap grudge dog you know what i'm saying like you got qp talking shit on angry fan you got tay rock calling out fucking qp then qp saying yes i will do this shit let's get this shit cracking I'm going to look into it. Let's book this shit. He's on Angry Fan saying in the right setting, I would destroy Rock because I would be motivated. And I do think he'd be motivated for that. And I think he would write his fucking heart out for that. And you would see the QP that you saw against Speed Dollar and in other battles, bro, where he was fucking phenomenal. I say Speed Dollar because that was the latest one that I can think of where he seemed like he was motivated. And it was in a small room. And he absolutely destroyed that dude. If you want to see God pen type level shit, go watch that battle. I don't, I don't give a fuck if you know who Speed Dollar is or if you care about who he is. Just go watch QP in that battle and tell me that that QP wouldn't have a chance against Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? Because he definitely would in that kind of a setting. And Rock wants to battle. So what the fuck, Smack? You know what I mean? Is it because you don't want to do do business like you actually have people out here trying to stop the battle from happening when it's an organic fucking grudge match like people actually want to see this there's fucking hype around both of their names and there's hype around this matchup people are talking about it qp's name is hot right now he's qp's name is popping more than it has been in a minute right now you know what i'm saying and obviously tay rock's name is popping you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Like, this is a perfect match to book for your next volume card, which is definitely coming up soon. You already know that it is, and I've already heard some talk about the next volume. You know what I'm saying? So, why the fuck is this not happening, Smack? You know what I'm saying? And if not, then book it on uh, Gates of the Garden. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dre Dennis, where you at? Book this battle. Or, one of, you know, Black Ice Cartel. One of these, Battle Academy, somebody booked this fucking battle. I know Battle Academy does a lot of Philly shit, but what's saying they couldn't book these dudes, you know what I mean? Like, they don't like, bruh, what's up, man? Somebody booked this fucking battle. Give these dudes, what? give these dudes the bag they want because this is a match people want to see. You will get your money back. You will get the views. People want to see this shit, bruh. But I would love to see Quantum make his caffeine debut. I know he's been on the app in a couple battles he didn't really give a fuck about against Emerson Kennedy and Dre Dennis. Put him on caffeine on volume, the next volume, against fucking 
Tay Rock, bro. That shit would be fire. Man, that's all I got to say about this shit. Let me know what y'all think, man, in the comment section. Tell me what's up. What do y'all think about a battle like this? Obviously, I give, you know, the advantage to Tay Rock, but I do not think that he would necessarily body QP, and I definitely think Q QP has a chance to win because he's such a phenomenal writer and a phenomenal pen. I would just love to see the matchup. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. It's your boy, Brick Street Sprite, man. Let me know what y'all think about this shit. QP, Quantum Physics, Tay Rock. And I'm out of here, 100.